So what is metadata for, ultimately? Right? I've already said that I would define metadata as description. But metadata is not always describing the features of a thing, the characteristics of a thing, like the sky is blue, right? or my name is Jeff. That is descriptive of characteristics of the sky or of me. Right? Sometimes metadata is descriptive of the structure of a thing or a description of what you can or should do with a thing. So let's talk about these other types of metadata now. Um, we've already talked about description, and these are the three basic types of metadata, descriptive, structural, and administrative. Now, there are subcategories of these, and we'll get into all of these more as we go along, but these are the three basic types. Um, we've already talked about description. It provides information about a resource, right? Title, author, publication, year, say, um, you know, file, format, all of these are very common pieces of descriptive metadata about any kind of resource. Structural metadata uh, provides information about how an object, how a resource is organized or structured. Often, structural metadata is used to describe compound objects, and that's a term, again, in information science jargon. Compound object. Like, for example, a book, right? A book is made up of chapters, is made up of sections, is made up of pages, right? So with this simple example, you suddenly get a four level deep hierarchy that describes the structure of a book, right? Structural metadata provides a map of the structure or the logic of an object, right? Info, information about the organization or the structure of a thing. Now, administrative metadata uh, provides information about how an object should be stored or cared for, right? Um, copyright. Copyright or you know intellectual property rights, um, access permissions, who gets access to this object and what are they allowed to do with it or to it, uh, origin of something, where does it come from, um, the term, the jargon term in information science is provenance. Is this an original or is this a duplicate, right? Where does something come from? What is its history, etc.? And there are two types of administrative metadata. There's rights metadata, which obviously deals with things like intellectual property rights, copyright, ownership, that sort of thing and uh, preservation. Preservation, which deals with um, description of how to care for an object, 
right? Imagine museum objects, for example. Metadata about museum objects might specify the kind of you know, climate conditions, the humidity that is required to maintain something over the long term, right? How to preserve something, how to care for it. For electronic digital files, for example, you might have preservation metadata that says, you know, you need to update to the latest file format every n years or replace the hard drive every, you know, five years or something. So administrative metadata cuts two ways, right? Who has access and what can they do with the object and how to care for an object over the long term. Now we'll talk about all of these kinds of metadata in more depth as we go along, but so far we've been focusing on descriptive metadata and so I wanted to introduce these other two types now before we move on any further.